Now then, my friends, I am in Leeds city centre because today we are off to O'Neill's, which I always thought was a more of a, a little bit like an Irish Weatherspoons. But I'm going there for the mega Irish breakfast because one of the viewers has said, you need to try their mega Irish breakfast. And at first, I put it to one side, I thought, ah, not really, it's going to be... It's going to be like a Weatherspoons, but Irish, isn't it? With an Irish twist. And I thought to myself, no, let's give it a go. I'm in Leeds today, so that's where we're heading for the mega Irish breakfast at O'Neill's. Uh, and apparently, I've done a bit of research, it is a converted bank and it's a protected uh, building. So there we go. I'm looking forward to this one, at least to see the building. If you're new to the channel, by the way, do hit that subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Now then, what's the crack? Come on, I had to get that in for my mate, the crack master over there in Tenerife. Now then, if you're coming into Leeds, which is a vibrant city, uh, O'Neill's is right opposite the train station. So you can go and get your breakfast there, if it's any good, but we'll find that out very shortly. And have a wander around. There's the Trinity Centre over here. There's lots to see and lots to do uh, in Leeds. There is a lot of work going on at the moment because, of course, you've got the council uh, doing all the bike lanes, etc., that we don't really need because we could just use the road. But that's controversial. That's a, that's a different vlog. <laughs> so uh, there you go. It's right over the road from the train station. Anyway, let's go over there. I've got a bit of an appetite on. Come on. My friends, here we are inside O'Neill's in Leeds. So before we get down to ordering this breakfast, just have a quick look around. What a great building. It's uh, an old bank apparently, and it's a listed building. So have a quick look. <laughs> Right, my friends. Well, first of all, this is an old bank and it's also a listed building as well. It's really, really nice in here. I'm going to say hi to Reese, who's behind the bar there. Uh, and he also informed me that uh, I can have one of these cards. They're free. You don't have to sign up for it. I didn't have to give my name or anything. Uh, you have a loyalty card uh, and you get it stamped four times and you get a free breakfast, my friends. So uh, a free hearty breakfast. So that's not bad at all. I've gone for the mega Irish breakfast today. It came to a total of and here's a copy of the receipt um, you'll see there I got a minus 175 back he forgot to give me my 10% discount but then gave it me back after uh, so it came to a total of uh, 1070 but then I got 10% off because I believe you get 10% off 
uh, with this card as well. So get one of these loyalty cards, uh, it's definitely worth it. Right, okay, so I've gone for the Mega Irish Breakfast, which is £8.95, which is three Irish pork and leek sausages, three rashers of uh, grilled back bacon, three fried free range eggs and three hash browns with Heinz baked beans, my friends, grilled tomato, two flat mushrooms and your choice of toasted uh, white or bloom bread. I've also had a cup of tea here as well, which you can refill as many times as you want, my friends. So uh, you just nip down there, get your tea bag. It's PG, not Yorkshire, uh, but you can have as many cups of tea as you want. Um, you can have different breakfasts on here as well. They've got veggie breakfasts as well, if that uh, is what you want. But I don't know. Uh, I've, I've, I fancy the mega Irish breakfast today, so that is what I've ordered. Got a got a healthy appetite. Anyway, take a closer look at the menu, my friends. Right, my friends, so here is the breakfast. I have to say, uh, I'm really surprised because I was expecting more of a, a Weatherspoon style breakfast, but this is flame grilled, I'm told. So um, it's uh, leagues above a Weatherspoon's breakfast, but the price is still really, really good. I mean, it's excellent, really. If you get this as well, don't forget this loyalty card, uh, which uh, Reese told me about, by the way. Uh, and as I said, it, the breakfast itself, I mean, what was it, $8.95 here uh, for the breakfast, ten seventy in total, all you can drink tea there as well, and uh, that's fantastic, and it looks like, I think 10% off, you have to check on the website there, but 10% off um, if you get this loyalty card, that's why he re refunded me the uh, one pound, he says it's roughly 10% anyway, anyway, he gave me one pound 75 back in, uh, in change, uh, in coinage, anyway, that's not what we're here for now, let's move that to the side, I love these little milk bottles by the way, that is a, a nice touch, proper milk, not them plastic cartons, which I cannot abide by the way, the milk tastes a bit funky doesn't it when it's in like that proper little milk bottle i like that um we've also got hp sauce in a bottle not a squeegee bottle proper hp so i'm gonna have some of that uh, also got heinz ketchup as well that is in a squeegee bottle but i'm not going to go for heinz this looks absolutely fantastic i have to say uh, so before we go any further my friends you know the score take a closer look Right, I can't wait to tuck into this. By the way, I've just checked with Reese. Get one of these cards, 10% off. Uh, it is confirmed that 10% off each time you come and get one of these breakfasts and you get it stamped. You get, you buy four, you get one free. I said, you buy four, you get one free. Who remembers that advert on TV? Uh, right, with the guy off of Coronation Street, here we go. Ooh, new bottle as well. I get to break the seal. 
Okay, here we go. HP, Houses of Parliament. Let's get this out. Now then, let me ask you a quick question here. Do you do that, right? Oh, it's coming out easy anyway. Do you, let me know in the comments section down below, if it doesn't come out the source, do you pat it, oops, do you actually pat it on the bottom of it like this, or do you do it on the neck of it like that? What's the proper way to do it? There's a question for you. Right, let's go in for this first. Now we're gonna go in for the sausages here. These are a nicer sausage. It's not just a standard catering sausage there. Look at that. Okay, there we go. Got a little bit of a bend in this one as well. And that one there. But let's go in for this sausage. Okay, got the Heinz beans there as well. Nice bit of sausage there. Now these are flame grilled. Mmm. Actually, <laughs> yeah, wow, that sausage is nice. And because it's flame grilled, it's got a slightly, it's got a caramelized taste to it as well, which is really nice. Mmm, very nice. We'll go in for the bacon as well. Again, flame grilled, as you can see. It's been on the grill there, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna have some of this bacon. Wow, this, them sausages too taste really nice, I've got to say. There's the bacon. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. You can really taste the flame grill on that. It's like barbecue taste to it as well as if you barbecued it, which is the same kind of thing, really, isn't it? Right. We're going to go in for the mushroom. Okay, yes, it is one big mushroom. It's a different kind of breakfast. It's not like a fry up, this one. Let's taste this mushroom. Hmm. Yeah, wow. That's, I would go for smaller mushrooms myself, but that tastes absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice. Got the uh, tomatoes here as well. As I say, normally I would go for the tin tomatoes, but that's not this kind of breakfast. And again, grilled. Let's have a look at this. Done perfectly. Hmm. They have got a fantastic taste of them. Let's have a look at the eggs. Okay, not too snotty at all. There we go. Very nice, got the uh, the toast under there as well. Uh, you've got your butter separately there if you want to butter it. We've also got the hash browns here. Hash browns, nice, very crispy on the outer there. Look at that, very crispy. In, in fact, on this, these are not greasy at all. They're not dry but I don't like a greasy hash brown. Probably the most controversial item on a breakfast at the moment. A lot of people saying they're American, but that, that's very nice. That is how a hash brown should be. There's nothing worse than getting a hash brown and having it all greasy. That is spot on. But for me, these sausages are absolutely banging. Just look at them. It's the sausages what make it. This is great. Got the Heinz beans as well. Beautiful. I would have used my sausage there as a breakwater between the eggs. There we go, and the beans. The old Alan Partridge trick. But this is fantastic. I'm going to eat this, come back to you, and then we're going to mark it out of 10. And I'll tell you what, after I've had my fourth one, the fifth one's going to taste even better because it's going to be free. <laughs> See you guys in a minute. Mm.
spare me one second. That was excellent. When I first came here um, to review this breakfast, I was expecting more of a Weatherspoon style breakfast. Um, it was actually recommended to me by one of the viewers. And I, at first I sort of like said to myself, oh no, I'm not gonna do that. It's O'Neill's uh, the breakfast isn't gonna be that fantastic, is it? It's just another Weatherspoon's. But it isn't. I was really, really taken back by it. The sausages were so tasty uh, and the flame grilled taste gave it that caramelized sort of like taste to it as well. Caramelized flavor uh, and a barbecued flavor as well. Uh, the bacon reminded me of as if it was barbecued. It was, it was very, very nice. Flame grilled. Um, all in all, for me, that was fantastic. Heinz beans as well. As many teas and coffees as you want, or as many teas as you want. I don't know whether it, does it include uh, refills with your coffee. I don't know whether I'd have to check that out, but I've gone for tea anyway, because tea belongs with breakfast. And I could go back and have 50 more of these if I want, uh, although I'd be going to the bathroom all day. Everything about that breakfast for me was spot on. Really, really nice. This O'Neill's, by the way, is fantastic what a great uh, interior to this uh, a listed building as i say but down to the food I, I mean i can't fault it everything about it was great the eggs weren't snotty the price of it is fantastic uh, you've also got your card there as well your loyalty card they've got proper hp what more do you want i am i'm in shock to be honest because as i say i was expecting a weatherspoon style and far from it uh it was really really nice and the hash browns were done perfectly even though they were controversial so for me i'm going to give it i can't believe i'm giving o'neill's a 10 but yeah it deserves it because it was fantastic i thoroughly enjoyed it and i always love it when you get a proper hp glass bottle and not a squeegee one for some reason it tastes better don't forget that question though is it if you can't get the sauce out that or that which way do you do it do you chop it or pat it there's the question. So that's a 10 from me. Um, that's O'Neill's in Leeds uh, city centre. Don't forget, get your loyalty card and then you get your buy four and you get one free. That's all from me today. Thanks for joining me uh, for this O'Neill's breakfast. I'm in shock because I thought oh, I'm going to come in here and it's going to be terrible, but it's really, it's really, really nice. That is what Weatherspoons should be offering, my friends. Anyway, don't forget, give us a th thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I think I might have another cup of tea, or three, or four, or five. Now, I'm guessing, I've not been to O'Neill's before, uh, but this was recommended to me by a viewer, and he said, you've got to try the mega Irish breakfast. And I thought the only thing I can recall from O'Neill's is, back in my days of going out in Nottingham is, that it, that's garbage, it's just crap, start again. What a cock blocker.